Through These Doors, presented by First Community Credit Union. recipe to North Dakota's success stems from the power play again this season. But beyond the numbers stands the players and coach that make up this unit. From a national champion goaltender to goalie coach, Carl Gehring leads North Dakota's power play, a challenge he relishes while tying back to his experiences at UND. Power play, get in tight here! Hockey for me is the ultimate team sport and the power play is kind of similar because it's, it's the ultimate team part of it as well because guys really need to be functioning together, um, reading off of one another, being connected and, and those are the things that help drive opportunities and, and help drive momentum for teams. When he first started out here, you know, he was a volunteer, he was called the goalie guy, the goalie coach. But you know what, he invested in himself, he, uh, he, he coached at the pro level for a number of years and uh, he got to see all sides of the game and, and I don't look at him as a goalie coach anymore. Certainly from a goaltender's standpoint, I always remember and have a, a good memory of what worked well offensively. Um, so I always try to start with that standpoint of um, you know, what's going to be hard for the goaltender, what's going to make it challenging so that we can create some offense. And then, you know, for me, it's, it's another step in coaching. McLaughlin in the back of the net! Really goes into details about the power play. It's like almost his baby too. Um, it just does a great job with us, with every guy and just giving them all the information they need to just kind of do their job and it just makes it really smooth for us to go out there and do it. Because he sees the game a little bit differently being a goalie, he understands uh, angles and positions and I know he talks to me a lot about finding the open lane and, and finding those angles so um, he does a great job preparing us. PK guys, we're gonna start with a breakout here. He's got two really good units out there. Like, you know, a lot of times power plays, they load up one unit uh, and they stay out for a minute and a half, minute and 40, and the other group gets 20 to 30 seconds, and they really don't get a lot done with that second unit. He's got two equal units he can throw out there. Let's create as much space as we can there, create as many looks as we can. When a team can bring that out against an opposition, for me it just adds to the threats we bring and um, adds to what we can do with a chess match as well. And it's healthy competition. You know, each guy, each unit wants to be that number one unit. Like you said, it's, it's an A and B, so on any day, um, we're ready to go. I mean, everyone on the team could be a power play guy, to be honest, we got a lot of skill, a lot of good players, just one A, one B, no matter what. Sometimes uh, our unit's hot, so we're out there, the next time the other unit's hot, so it's nice to be able to have just two units that just keep firing. Good pace here, ready, ready, ready. Cameron Berg talking to uh, talking to Jackson Blake about you know where's my best spot? How can we read off one another? Um, th those are the fun things for me as a coach to see. I think I played pretty much every a position on the power play for him besides middle top, trying to get him to do that. But just helping me grow my game just by knowing what I have to do in each role. You know, he's always usually the first one to to add a new drill. Uh, think about adding a new drill or a different concept. Uh, within our group and uh, I think that's big. Good job boys, good luck, hey? I think in the game there's a lot of mood swings and uh, special teams is a really big part of the game so we understand that it's a privilege and when we're called upon we'll be ready. You know the power play is such a vital component in nowadays and uh, practicing it you know not just once a week but two or three times a week is such a vital thing to do to get we call it getting touches you know you want to work on different things but you got to make sure you got to work on the power play and get a lot of touches. Go 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 go! Coaching is it's such a fun thing but a lot of it's the relationships and, and working with guys and um, I, I hope to put put myself out there to be available as much as I can. We got better here boys we got better here let's go! 
show your school spirit with an exclusive UND Finding Heights debit card found only at First Community Credit Union. Coming off the bye week, the focus is on the final push of the regular season for UND. Up first is a road trip to Colorado College, a team that North Dakota is eager to get a second shot at. It's a long season and uh, guys get banged up blocking shots and whatnot, so just having that week to rest and recover, it was huge. It comes at a good time, especially when we haven't had one in the first half of the season. You know, a lot of teams have one in the first half, one in the second half. This is our first one during the whole year. We had a pretty grueling, uh, tough stretch against some really good teams, so to be able to get a week off, just kind of recuperate, get refreshed, now we're fully charged, ready to go again. A lot of work is going to be uh, coming our way, so to have this moment to take a breath is, is always awesome. I think this last month we've really grown as a team in every aspect. I think we're just playing really fast and physical, playing a good 200 foot game. We're taking it one practice at a time. We're still trying to grow as a team. I mean, we've taken some huge steps. Really neat to see our guys come together and you can just see the chemistry build. For me, that's exciting. That's it, that's it, that's it. You know, we got a better taste in our mouth for sure. They came in, kind of took two games from us in our home building. So we're definitely have some extra fuel to go into their building and try to do the same thing. Puck management's going to be a big thing. They're a very good structured team. They've got guys that can score goals and make plays offensively. So for us, it's making sure that we take care of the habits and details of what we have to do, the way we played, and everybody doing it. They came into our barn here at the Ralph and they got two overtime wins. So we remember that and we're looking for some revenge here. Presented by First Community Credit Union. Life is better with community.